Hey guys, Mo Machine Builds. Um, back out here painting. I'm just showing you that I painted up my dash orange with the it's Mandarin orange with Crown on Dual. It's like seven bucks a can here in Canada. Um, what I did was I wire brushed all the rust and used some little thing that's supposed to take off paint and rust. Did that and then sanded it with 320 grit and then sprayed it. I got about a couple coats down on it. Painting this orange and I bought Dupa Color Bed Armor. It's DIY truck bed liner. It's meant for cutting in and for touch ups and then you buy the bucket for actually doing the thing. But it's textured, right? It's got texture. If you're in Canada, I don't know what price is in America. This stuff is sixteen ninety nine a can. Like holy crap, seventeen dollars for that thing. But I'm gonna spray my steps. Show you my steps, the running boards, the side steps, whatever you want to call them. I'm painting those. I'm gonna paint those with the truck bed liner. Then probably leave them black. Go out to the tractor here. Ugh. Ugh. I got my steps in the water just soaking the mud because my hose isn't connected and it's a severe pain in the ass to get the hose hooked up so then I'll just blow those off sand them I'm a, I was thinking originally just spraying the truck down line right where the rubber is as you can see there just where the rubber or plastic wherever it is but I'll probably just spray the whole damn thing because it's probably easier um, this is what the tractor's looking like right now it's a little disassembled um, I ought to, uh, replace the fuse, because I blew it when I, as you can see, if I can pull these down, those wires. I disabled the lawnmower engagement, because I took that out. Um, I don't know how the hell to get this off of, if you guys know how. Love a link to a video, or told how the hell to get it off, because I think the only way to get it off is to start hacking away at things. But... I'll be back when I'm done painting. I'll show you guys the finished result of that dashboard and the running board. Alright guys, motion builds. I'm back once the... Oh, let me turn the cedar off. I'm back after I've got this finished painted. It's pretty much dry. I'll put it on tomorrow. I painted it and then masked it off and painted the back. We painted it black with actually Carlong barbecue and stove paint because I originally bought that for my exhaust and word to the wise I didn't think my exhaust or my lawnmower would get that hot but what it does it just burns the paint off so I actually buy engine paint and then painted the uh, wire brush and sand the studs with 60 grit or something like that really aggressive take all that adhesive off there's a lot of adhesive on there I sprayed these so I got these uh, sorry. Um, I painted these last night. Um, you kind of you can see how it's all still wet. How I put it all way too thick, but it's kind of. Oh, but it's kinda, it's it's definitely texture. It's just really wet still. I put it on really thick because I kind of thought it did. It came out like spackle kind of deal. It was really and it was blotchy, so I don't think it was hot enough. I shook it for like two minutes, right? Shook it every which way. So if you're gonna do this, I would advise doing it so as that you don't care about the floor because it goes everywhere. And do it so it's really warm, like this heater isn't cutting it. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, a little teaser. What? What's? What's? What's that? Whoa! What's that? I'll make a video of that after. But I'm gonna let these dry probably at least two, three days. And that's pretty much done. I'm gonna bolt it back on. So there's a lot of blabbing, but it's what it looks like finished. Uh, this is what it looks pretty nice with two, three coats of orange on it. And then the running boards. So bye guys, that ends the video of more painting on the tractor, but